Okay, following up on number 10 from the 2016-2017 test, I've been asked to go over number 11. So you leave class and you head to the bathroom 24 meters down the hall. 24 meters, that sounds like a distance. A distance equals 24 meters. And your timing coincides with a stampede of, six, stampede of sixth graders on their way to lunch. Okay, so this is on your way where you are trying to get there. You're going against the tide. This is like going upstream against a current. And it's going to take you 12 seconds going upstream. On your way back to class, you time things so that uh, the sixth graders are thundering off uh, in the other direction. This time, you're being helped by them. This is the same as going with the current or going downstream. So four seconds downstream. Okay, so now we have some information uh, that will help us. What we need to find out is what is our hallway speed without any assistance or hindrance, and what is the hallway speed or the of the herd of sixth graders, which we can relate to as the current. So we need to find uh, your speed and the current of sixth graders speed. Okay, I'm gonna call your speed X and the sixth graders current Y. So now I'm gonna create a distance equals rate times time a problem. So my distance is 24 and that's gonna equal my rate going upstream, which is going to be x, my speed, minus the sixth grader's speed, because I'm fighting against them, times my time. It makes sense. It'll be a longer time going upstream. Now I'm going to deal with the downstream. This is the upstream problem, upstream equation. Now the downstream equation is the same distance of 24 meters. I have a combined rate of x plus y because the sixth greater, greater uh, current is helping me. So if I'm going downstream with the sixth grade current, that's four seconds. It's a shorter time. We will call this the downstream equation. Now, I have two equations that I can work with. I have two choices. I could distribute the 12 into here and the four into here, or I could factor the 12 out of both sides. I could factor the four out of both sides. I prefer factoring them out because I can foresee that that will give me simpler problems. So I'm gonna copy these down here. If I factor 12 out of both sides of that equation, 12, 24 divided by 12 becomes two. So now X minus Y, my speed minus the sixth grader speed, equals two. Now if I factor four out of both sides, 24 divided by four is six. I can now drop my parentheses. And I've got two equals x minus y and six, six equals x plus y. All right, I'm going to start by subtracting. Okay, but you know what? I'm gonna subtract doing this. I'm gonna take that and copy it. So I can subtract that way. I'm going to do 6 minus 2, which is going to be 4. I'm going to do x minus x, which is going to be nothing, and y minus negative y, which is going to be 2y. So if I divide both sides by 2, I get 2 equals y. I now know my sixth grader current. So the sixth graders are going 2 meters per second. At this point, I could say x minus 2 equals 2, and I would figure out that my speed is 4 meters per second. But I'm going to also try doing it this way. I'm going to take these two equations, the two equations here, and I'm just going to do it by elimination just because I have that bias. And I like to do it that way. This time I'm going to add the equations. 2 plus 6 is 8 equals x plus x is 2x, y plus negative y plus y is 0. So 4 is what x equals, because 8 is what 2x equals. 
So I now know my speed is four meters per second, and the sixth grade herd speed is two meters per second. And that's the answer.